issue on the table. France is on the verge of war with England. Now, do we commit money and aid to our French allies, or do we stay out of it? Secretary Jefferson, you have the floor, sir. When we were on death's door, when we were needy, we made a promise. We signed a treaty. We needed money and guns and half a chance. Uh, who provided those funds? France. In return, they didn't ask for land. Only a promise that we'd lend a hand and stand with them if they fought against oppression. But now is the time to stand with our brothers as they fight against tyranny. This is the end of monarchy. Now that war has been declared between your country and Great Britain, we must remain neutral, Ambassador Genet. The United States is a new and independent nation. It is in our best national interest to keep ourselves apart from affairs to which we have no attachment. A threat to France is a threat to America. And we have a treaty, Mr. President. A treaty made when you were at war with England. I remind the ambassador that our treaty with France was made with King Louis. The king's murder renders that compact no longer binding. We signed a treaty with the king whose head is now in a basket. Would you like to take it out and ask it? Or should we honor our treaty, King Louis's head? Ah, uh, do whatever you want, I'm super dead. Since I landed in America, I have found many willing to fight. You will refrain, Ambassador Genet, from any further efforts to recruit our citizens to belligerent actions. I will not allow you to outfit privateers to join in your war against England. It is not for you to tell me this. Tread carefully, sir. The people will command me as they command you. Ambassador Genet. You will hear from me again, sir. And then I will speak to you with a million voices. And you will obey. Hamilton is right. Mr. President. We're too fragile to start another fight. You would let your ideals blind you to reality. Hamilton, sir. Draft a statement of neutrality. Yes, sir. <laughs> 